This episode of Jack is brought to you by Weaver Leather. This week I'm on the road traveling and we're going to go ahead and do a review and answer a question that came in after last week's episode. Last week's episode was 34 and somebody noticed that when Jesse mounted up on Jack that he did not pull his head around. And they wrote in and asked the question, don't you always pull your horse's head around to mount? So if you look back at episode 16 of Jack, I was teaching Jack to bend and stand still, which essentially becomes a parking brake. Now, I don't always use the parking brake when I mount my horses. So the quick answer to the question is no, I do not always mount with my horse's head bent. But in the beginning I do because it's how I teach them to have a parking brake. Just like when I'm parking my car, sometimes all I do is simply put it in park and I expect it to stay still. But then if I really, really want to ensure that that vehicle is going to stay there, I will go ahead and put the parking brake on. So with my horse, I teach the parking brake concept by bending the horse's head around. Eventually, I want that horse to stand still of its own accord, even if I let them have their heads straight. But because I've taught them the parking brake, Basically, if I run into a problem, I have something to fall back on, and I'll go back to that. So I do not always bend my horse to, to mount, but if I run into a problem, then it's there. If you have a question regarding an episode of Jack somewhere in the past, go ahead and write in to me. Some of these weeks coming up, I'm going to take the time to either record a short answer like this, or even record a video using Jack answering your question. Let's go rewatch episode 16 of Jack.